Today, I'm editing a video on mute using only the waveform to help guide the edit. And not only that, but I am sending this video off to clients, so this better be good. For context, for people who aren't videographers or editors, editing can take anywhere from 3 to 10 hours, largely dependent on your editing process and, of course, what you're editing. Now, I've been editing for 8 years, and I reckon I've done so much editing that I can read a waveform and edit without hearing the music. But there's only one way to find out. I've got this file over here, and this has all the footage of a recent real estate job that I've done. It's a really cool house, by the way. Nice. Now, the first step to this is to find a song. Now, luckily, I have an Artlist subscription, so we're going to jump into Artlist, and we're going to make sure that we're on mute. So now we're not hearing anything after this. The first place I want to start is the mood, um, or maybe the genre, actually. Um, something which I think goes really well with most real estate is funk, so like funky sort of beats. And now I want to look at these waveforms here. Now, for me personally, the, the waveform that I prefer is something that starts a bit soft, so this looks good here. So it starts a bit soft, then looks like it does actually pick up a bit. This one also looks good. It's called a Jello. Um, this one looks good as well. Starts off soft and picks up. Oh, this one as well. Oh my god, there's so many choices. Let's go with Heart Don't Sleep, Electronic Pop and Funk. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll, we'll go with that. All right, so I'm going to bring this clip into Premiere. We're just going to drop it in, and so there's the waveform there. And now I'm going to open up our clips that we have here. I'm going to start with the drone shot. Yeah, we can use this. We can reverse it, have like a start with like a push in. Yeah, I mean, I'd like a wider shot to start with. I've got a... Yeah, here we go. So let's bring that in. This is the general formula I use for real estate videos. I start with like a drone shot, with the intro, you bring in like a J cut into the talking, and then you go with the kitchen, spare bedrooms and other stuff like that, and then bedrooms and then outdoor and then land size and location, stuff like that. That's the formula that I normally follow. So I'm going to try to follow the same formula here. So starting with a drone shot, it's nice because it is very even here. And it looks like there might be a beat here, so I'm going to cut it here and start this clip. Now, I want this to be a push in, so let's reverse it by just putting a minus in front of that. Now, I'm going to put in the talking shots. So he's got one talking bit here of the dude on the right, and then the next video is the dude on the left. So, And then I'm going to J-cut this. So I think a J-cut is a nice transition. Oh, actually not even, because it's got this like nice lens flare at the top here. And I do want to keep that in, so I, I won't J-cut it. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm guessing he finishes here. And then, so between them two talking, I do want to clip in the middle. Um, so maybe I'll like grab something like this and then we're going to add in the other clip with the other dude on the other side. Fun hack, if you hit option and delete, it ripple deletes and ripple delete means that if you grab this one and then ripple delete it, it's going to move everything up here forward like that. Helps to uh, speed up your process for editing if you uh, didn't know that. It's a little handy little hack. I feel like it, it might need another drone shot there. Yeah, of like the pool, that would be a good shot to put in there. Okay, all right, I like that. I like that how that's coming along. I'm pretty sure there is a shot in here of like the staircase. Yeah, this one here. This is big brain time. Yeah, okay, so what I would like to do is have them like come in and then do a speed ramp, I reckon. So let's open this up in After Effects. And hopefully this isn't boring and you can actually learn something off this video. It's, uh, yeah. So at the end here, then we're going to speed ramp it. So we're going to layer, time, enable time remapping. Click that, set a time point there. Go ahead a second. And then just speed ramp into the door. And then we're just going to smooth out this speed ramp. So you highlight this, go here. Click this button over here to change this. If you want a more detailed explanation of time remapping, I do have a video uh, on the channel about how to speed ramp very smoothly. So that's what I'm doing here basically, is using that tutorial. Time force motion blur. Force motion blur is how you make it nice and smooth. You go here, you turn it off. 
turn it on, off, on. You can see, makes it buttery smooth. Go watch the other video. All right, now what I'm going to do is just pre-render this. I'm gonna render this one out and drop it back into Premiere. Okay, while this is rendering, I reckon we'll just jump into Premiere and keep going with the video. And so now that the staircase video is in, we're just going to speed ramp it from this clip here so that it kind of flows into it a bit better. Okay, and then we'll open this up in After Effects as well. Okay, so now we're going to time remap this video as well. And we're just going to add a little bit of a speed ramp to the start. I'm, I'm looking at this clip now, looking back at drone shot. Second drone shot, we've got talking one and talking two. Problem here is that it looks like the beat drops before we even get to this one. So I'd say that this beat has to be over here. It drops after he finishes talking. It needs to be here, around there. So, um, yeah, we've got to extend this audio over. This is big brain time. This beat looks very similar. I'm thinking okay, we can do this. We can copy it. We can paste it here. That, we might be able to get away with that. I'm not entirely sure, obviously, because I can't hear it, but I, I think this might work. And I really hope it does, because if the whole video gets wrecked by that, then that will be really unfortunate. So this is good because we've got the beat drop here on the speed ramp. So the next thing that I've got to do is add in kitchen shots. So I might even add just like a, no, nothing special, just like a, just a shot, just a nice shot of the kitchen. All right, let's stabilize that one. This looks good. Yeah, that's good, that's perfect. Let's try to drop to the next clip on a beat drop. I don't know which one of these is a beat drop because they're all actually this one here looks like looks like it might be an important beat. It'll play this video. That beat looks like it's here again. So we'll <coughs> cut it down. This is like three seconds here, so that, that's enough of the shot. And then I'm going to add that close-up macro-ish shot that we did in here. What else can we put here? This house was like huge. There was like, um, there was an elevator, there was like two lounge rooms, there was a cinema room, there was, I think like five or six bedrooms. So it's probably not all going to fit in a one minute video. I don't know, we'll just, uh, we'll just see how it comes along. That is a lounge room. Another, this is the other dining, this is like the main. Oh, okay, that's good, that's good as well. I'll use this one. And I'm going to cut these in on these beats that we were looking at before. I don't know if this song is repetitive or anything, if it's just like a beat. It kind of seems like it might be because I, I can see these beats everywhere and it's like it's very up and down. Okay, we'll cut this one and then we'll cut into the main living area. Okay, so that there's some extra rooms in this place, in this, this house, but, but I feel like we should start moving on to actually showing the bedrooms. Otherwise, the video will go on to too long. Like there's the freaking cinema rooms and there's there's more there's more dining areas. There's like an upstairs dining area. It's just, oh, uh, it's just so big. So let's move on to the bedrooms because remember, there's a lot of bedrooms. That's a snazzy shot. Okay, bedroom number one, bedroom two. This is another bedroom. So this one is the lower bedroom. So it's like the lower level one. So we'll start that and then work our way up to the master bedroom, okay? I have an idea. I'm thinking maybe we can uh, create a little speed ramp here. I don't know. So let's open it up in After Effects. So there's a speed ramp at the end here, going into the next clip, and the next clip will be this? No. Actually, you know what we might do? We could speed ramp into this, since there's a bit more motion. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll use this clip instead of this clip for the this bedroom. Yeah, perfect, perfect. And then this one, we're just gonna open this up in After Effects, and then put the speed ramp at the start of this one. This is the speed ramp, so we'll play it, we'll play it through just to see how it looks. Alright, uh, okay, so the beat drop is here, 
So I'm going to cut it there. But this one here does drop on this beat, which I predict is important. I am going to stabilize this clip a little because it gets a little shaky at the end. Um, and then we'll move on to the next bedroom. Let's chuck the master bedroom in. And this is going to be really annoying. So we're going to have to speed ramp this entire thing. So we'll open it up in After Effects. And basically, I just want to like start it here. We'll come in like a few seconds. So this shot here holds for a bit. We'll set a keyframe. We'll move ahead a bit and then set another keyframe in the closet. So it sort of speed ramps all the way to the closet and we'll smooth it out after. And it's going to hold this frame for a while and then it's going to speed ramp into the bathroom. And then, of course, go to effect time and then force motion blur and we'll drop it in. So this is what it looks like. Stays for a few seconds. It spins around. Okay, look, it's not the smoothest thing, but I'll take it. And it goes to this shot. So as I said before, we finished the bedroom ones. Now the next step here is to show the bathrooms. Now with the bathrooms, what you have to do with the bathrooms is because every one of these bedrooms is actually an ensuite. When I show the bathroom, I've got to make sure that it's not an ensuite bathroom and it's actually going to be the main bathroom. So this is the main bathroom here. This bathroom shot's a little bit fast. I don't know what happened here. Apparently I didn't shoot it very well. Cut the end of it here on this beat over here because that's the most important thing is cutting on that beat there. All these cuts are happening on the beat. Okay, so that bathroom's done. We'll move on to the cinema shot. All right, so we'll go come in from here and then we'll move on to the balcony. So we've got the balcony and something you gotta do with your editing. And I think especially for like fancy houses like this is I know like first start editing these houses like this, your first thing that you wanna do is just add all these like transitions in and make all these like really nice fancy transitions that just like really show off your editing skills. But the thing with editing is that you gotta remember what the video is for. So for this video, it's to show off the house. It's not to show off your editing skills. Good editing skills will go unnoticed. And that's how you know that your, your editing is good. In my real estate videos, I always like to keep the transitions speed ramps to a minimum unless it's adding to the video. So for this one here, I think this is adding to the video because it's really showing sort of how the bedroom is laid out. Um, with the ensuite and the walk-in wardrobe. And that's why this one's important, but just something to keep in mind. And that's why I'm not speed ramping or like adding transitions in a lot because I know this house basically speaks for itself. Of course, the thing you got to do is make sure that it matches with the music, which in this case, we have no idea if it does. All right, so that clip's good. Got a nice little lens flare there. That's pretty nice. Oh God, that's nice. Yeah, we'll get that like lens flare in there. Let's cut this one on the beat. I reckon this beat over here looks pretty significant, so we'll cut it there. I think we'll we'll finish it off with a drone shot. Okie dokie. So we're gonna cut the video there. These actually, just thinking about it now, these are at a hundred percent volume, so we gotta bring these down. So I'm thinking is have all of this muffled as we're coming into the video, and then it'll all like clear up as the beat drops. I think that's maybe a safe way to transition between those edits I made to the audio. So to muffle audio, all you do is come to here, type in low pass, drop it in here. And the lower this number is here, the more muffled it's going to be. So I'm going to set it at 900. I'll copy and we're just going to paste that here. So 900. And then we're going to come in here, paste it in here, for 900. And then we're going to unmuffle it as he finishes talking. Okay. Okay, it seems like we might be ready to export this and have a look at it with the music. One eternity later. Okay, so we've finished the exporting and now we're going to watch it through for the first time um, and just see how it turned out um, editing the entire video without even hearing the music. So my main concern is is if it was actually cut to the beat because, you know, we just sort of were looking at that visually and not actually hearing it. Um, and also if the music blended at the start and if I got the talking parts right. So we're going to watch it through and just see how it goes and then we're going to send it off. Ok. 
Okay. Sephos are good. An architecturally designed, newly built masterpiece with no expenses spared in the construction of this captivating, luxuriously appointed, huge, multi-level home. Providing first-class living, this mansion is built in French provincial style with full brick and concrete construction. Nice. Alright, so firstly, music seems that the blending actually worked and the muffling actually worked. And the speed ramp also hit very well on the beat, so that that's good. Oh man, okay, so I think the, um, I think that beat that we actually picked out wasn't, wasn't correct, but, um, it's not too bad, I feel like it doesn't cut on the beat, and I think the, uh, clips do drag on a little bit longer than they should, not a huge issue, but, you know, that's just, that's just how it is, I guess. Second speed ramp. Nice. That was good. That was good. That's good. That's a nice, you know, drop to the beat. Okay, so this part's good. The pacing, I feel like, is a lot better than the start because it's a bit, um, it's going through the clips a bit faster and it's not as slow. So, I like how it's turning out. Alright, well, I liked that video for an edit without even listening to the music, I think that was a pretty damn good edit. I am not even hesitating to send that off to um, the client because that was pretty good. Like, I'm pretty proud of that. That's not too far off something that I'd normally edit. So yeah, I, I guess I'll send it off. That's 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 fine. That's, that's all good. I think it's an interesting concept. So thanks for watching again and I'll see you in the next video.